welcome back everybody it's Gray Spartan again and today I'm going to be doing a tour of Empire uh, this is not necessarily call out videos it's just kind of showing you where weapons are and some of the little sneaky things that I've found during my time with the beta gameplay now over here this is where a BR spawns now I imagine we're gonna be having a lot of AR starts so you're gonna want to get yourself a hold of the BR and of course the DMR is also on this map and I'll show you where that spawns here now this whole area right there was called Red Yard and down here is the pit uh, obviously reasons down low and we get some two plasma grenades right there and this could be the upper pit if that's what you want to call it uh, I'm not 100% sure on all the call outs granted this is a brand new map to us I've had only a few days of game time with it uh, over here this is what we have been calling tower 3 and just right in front of tower 3 a DMR spawns right here now there are two more DMRs that I've found and I will show you those here in a little bit and we go right back here this is kinda of like the back area here this is tower 2 and this is where the sniper the other sniper spawns I believe the snipers are both on a three minute timer and it's a static timer It's like every three minutes you're gonna see the announcer go hey there's a sniper spawn or power weapons are spawning in 30 seconds um, I still mixed feelings on that I'm kind of warming up to it a little bit I understand where it would be useful to a lot of people but uh, for the veterans I can understand where you would not want to have that as well now this is top mid and of course there is red and blue side this would be red side and over here is turbine a uh, very big area uh, I had a lot of deaths here and this is actually where I think I got my first ground pound which is pretty awesome I think I recorded that I'm not sure uh, I would have to double check again but uh, that was pretty cool now this is a little sneaky area right there uh, I did not realize this was there until like probably uh, after my second day so just be aware that that little sneak area is there and I'm going to show you this other little sneak area that you can get up to uh, you can get right up into here. I mean, it's not a crazy uh, uh, super advantage there, but it does give you options. And that's what I like to have is lots and lots of options. Of course, there is that BR spawns right here. This is what we've been calling blue outside. Uh, the mid outside is where, where the sniper rifle spawns right here. And like, like I said, this here is what um, spectator mode. So it is a still a little bit glitchy it's not the best right now but it is getting there we got less than a year uh, just a little less than a year might as well might as well just say a year yet uh till we get this actual full game uh i'm excited for it i don't know what you guys are thinking but after getting some real game time with it i think competitive players are actually going to be really surprised on how well this game plays so Please don't write this game off until you actually get some game time with it. Now, I just want to take a quick look right here. And this, uh, just check out the skybox a little bit. Now, as you can see, we have some sort of battle going on in the background. This reminds me a lot of Halo Reach. I cannot tell you the, uh, what is the, the campaign mission. But it does remind me a lot of that where you're flying around in the Hornet. Uh, I can't tell you the name for nothing, but... I, I want to say this is reach. I want to say we're on reach, but I don't know for sure. All right, right here, uh, the AR spawns, and of course that spawns on the other side as well, and of course there is the other BR. Now pay attention to where the BRs and DMRs are, because those are kind of your power weapons on this map, especially on AR starts. And right there is the DMR spawns right there. I believe they call this Red Nests. I, I'm not sure, but uh, be aware of that. Uh, you can get up there and you can jump through that top window and kind of be up there as well. Uh, over here is the staircase, red staircase, and bottom staircase. And again, right there is where the other BR spawns. Now heading over here uh, into the pit area or bottom tower. Uh, there's tower three. I just kind of want to take a look around this map and check out the sky boxes. Like I said, when you're playing you don't pay attention to any of it and you kind of miss out on a lot of the lore and well not just the lore just some of the awesome little things that the developers put into the map that when you're playing you just don't see 
uh, running around here through top mid area again. And as you see, this is red yard. It's just a lot of little itty bitty things like falling over barrels and stuff like that. I don't think those explode. I haven't come across any fusion coils or anything. I haven't seen any. Um, but you never know. They probably put that in here. Uh, this uh, going through the red sneak area. I think that's what they call it. You know, over to outside mid or turbine. And just take another quick look outside. Now be aware of this. It says danger zone right here. And it's definitely for a reason. I have seen people fall off. They're out there fighting and battling with their BR or whatever. And they just, uh, boo, and they fall off. It's just uh, incredibly funny and until I did it. But <laughs> that's just how it goes sometimes. You're just in the heat of the moment. And next thing you know, you committed suicide or give somebody a free kill. I said, take a look at these buildings. It, it, like I said, it just reminds me of Halo Reach a lot. Uh, I, I don't know what your guys' opinions on that are, but it does to me. Um, anyways, my experience so far, I'll talk about that a little bit, is with the Halo 5 beta. Uh, it's incredibly fun. I have enjoyed it. I think it's what Halo 4 needed to be. Halo 4 was good, but it was so unbalanced right from the get-go with the ordnance drops and, of course, everything else. The Spartan, uh, not the Spartan abilities, the armor abilities. Uh, it was just I incredibly crazy, but I have not found anything that is just so overpowered or so unbalanced in this game as of yet. Uh, I can't say the BR is uh, better than a DMR. And they both have their ranges. They both have their unique attributes. Um, I think this game is going to be probably one of the best Halos to date. And I, I stand by that. And hopefully those competitive players have kind of written it off because they saw Sprint and they saw all the ADS or the aim down sights thing. Hopefully they give it at least give it a try. And then at that point, go from there. Go from there and see what you think and give it a good, honest honest try but i'm going to wrap this video up here i do hope you like this video i thought this was probably going to be kind of unique something you haven't seen anywhere else and hopefully hopefully give you a bit of an advantage when you do get online to play well thanks for watching guys you can see the turbine spinning there a little bit um thanks again this is a crazy spartan and i am out of here